up, Fireflies? It is episode number two, and we are going to be coming to you with our Money in the Bank predictions. I think we leave the Money in the Bank um, predictions, the actual matches for the last two, you know, because it is Money in the Bank. But yes, we are going to be talking about Money in the Bank predictions. Super, super excited about Money in the Bank you know, the UK fans are electric. They're fantastic. And we were talking about this last night. Why is that so? And, you know, obviously being born and raised in England, I think it's because we are raised and bred in football. And obviously that's British football, not American football. So it's kind of bred into us to be passionate Oh, you know, over the top, loud, obnoxious in a good way. Um, so when, you know, and they don't get you know, events very often. So when they do go over there, they are so excited. They're so passionate. The crowd last night at SmackDown was fantastic. Phenomenal. Loved it. What did you think of SmackDown last night? Oh, it was fantastic. Just echoing your point on that. I definitely think that's true. I've seen it carry over even in other sports. I see uh, British people come over to IndyCar races in America and root for their favorite uh, uh, British drivers and stuff. Like they get so passionate. They're singing and waving flags and stuff they're crazy i love those fans (laughs) (laughs) and you know as we saw with the coronation you know when it comes to a party and a big flashy event nobody does it quite like us brits so (laughs) for this was a fantastic smackdown that's one of the best smackdowns i've seen in a while oh we were talking about that too just how important the crowd makes uh, an event like we saw that during the pandemic in 2020 like when there was no crowd it just it just takes the wind right out of the show and when you have a crowd amped up like like they're gonna be today oh yeah the, it just makes the show so much better oh yeah for sure and i remember having a video chat with remember that video chat i had with bray actually during the pandemic and he said then like it's just not the same you know without you guys i miss you guys like it's just it's so different without having the crowd there it's just not the same so all right money in the bank predictions we are going to start with what i believe is opening the show i'm not totally certain but we'll start with the women's tag team champions uh, ronda rousey and Shayna baszler versus raquel rodriguez and the returning Liv morgan super excited that she is back and got over that injury pretty quickly uh i know c wrestling was happy to see her back um so what do you think about this match? I think we're going to see another dominant performance from Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler. I don't uh, see them losing anytime soon. Yeah. I, I would definitely have to agree with that. And, you know, no disrespect to, to Ronda Rousey. And I know you agree with me here. It's lost its luster. Yeah. Like, when Ronda first came back, and you know, and challenged that WrestleMania and it was so unpredictable and it was just really awesome and and you really got into it she was this dominant force and i think now it's it's just gotten predictable because you know it, it you've made you again WWE has created this indestructible character of of ronda rousey like you can't beat her how do you beat her um so i i don't know for me it's just gotten a little bit too predictable um like you know that that match that they had with alba fry um and what's her name alba fire and it's the or um like i you knew that they were gonna win yeah and I bleh, I don't know. It, it from, just I think it comes down to the they're just they're not using Ronda right. Ronda fits so much better in that main event women's title picture when she was feuding with Becky and Charlotte yeah. and stuff. It was that was she just doesn't fit right in a tag team. She she just belongs on her own. She's always been that badass Mm-hmm. you know loner female wrestler and i just don't like i know that her and shane are good friends and stuff but i just don't like, like them together i would love to see or, or really like i said ronda in any with anybody yeah. i think ronda's better on her own like i would love to see ronda in a feud with zoe stark yeah you know i would love to see that coming up could we see that at some point trish stratus and zoe stark versus ronda and Shayna? that wouldn't be a bad idea 
we'll go with that. Yeah. So I think I we're. See, I could definitely see that, given that they didn't have women's tag titles when Trish was around last. That's so I could true. Definitely Very see true. Wanting to up Trish's accomplishments and her accomplishments and have her have a women's tag title run. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. That'd be okay. Mm. Um, so yeah, pretty much on the same page there. Um, no disrespect to Liv Morgan and Raquel. They're fantastic athletes. Obviously, Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey are fabulous athletes as well. Um, but I just think they're going to hold on to those tag team tag titles for a while. Um, so next match, let's go to the Intercontinental Championship between Gunther. It's Walter. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to call him Walter. <laughs> Uh, versus Matt Riddle. What you got for this one? Uh, as much as I'd love to see Matt Riddle win here, I just can't in good conscience pick him to win. I, I just... Gunther's too dominant right now. And I just... I think he's going to still hang on to that belt. I'm not sure who's going to be the one to take it from him, but I don't think it's going to be Riddle. Well, I have a theory. I think you're right. I don't think Matt Riddle is going to be the one to take that championship off of him. But and I and I do think Gunther Gunther wins this, but I think this is the perfect time to have an interference from Drew McIntyre. Hmm. You have Drew turn up. I mean, it's in England. He's a Brit. Like you know, have Drew McIntyre show up, interfere in the match. Gunther still ends up winning, but um, yeah, and I think Drew should be the one to dethrone Gunther. I really like that idea. I think that would be a great match, Drew McIntyre versus Gunther. I could definitely see him being a good choice to take the belt off him. And plus, that would be good for Drew. He hasn't been in, in, a, in, a, in a title for a while. I, I think he could have a really good Intercontinental title run. Yeah, I absolutely agree. So... Agreed on that one. Gunther retains the Intercontinental Championship, potentially with an interference from Drew McIntyre. Uh, let's go to the next one. Why don't we go to Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio? I have to, of course, pick Cody here. The only way that I see Cody losing is if we get some kind of shenanigans with a, a possible Brock Lesnar return, which I could definitely see, and apparently there's rumors that he's in London. I you don't, do, I do you don't think, think that, Rhea interferes? I mean, maybe, but I don't think I don't think it's enough with, with uh, that Rhea is enough to to swing it Cody's way. I think it would take someone like Brock to to swing it Dom's way. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm going to agree with you. I don't think this is the time to have Cody lose, uh, just yet. I think Dominic needs to prove himself a little bit more. I do think we get some interference from Rhea. Um, but like you said, I just don't think it's going to be enough. And I think and Cody yeah, is going to walk away. Brock costs him the match to embarrass him and then Dom gloats about it. And then Cody just ignores Dom and just goes right after Brock. Yeah, I I think this is leading but. up to uh, multiple matches with Dominic Mysterio. I think, um, and I think Rhea is going to play into this. That you know, Cody kind of says maybe you can't win without mommy and bans her from ringside for a match, or you know, does a steel cage match or something you know crazy like that. I think that would be a good way to go with that storyline. But again, we are agreed. Cody Rhodes uh, wins that match. Possible interference from Rhea Ripley and potentially Brock Lesnar. Who knows? Um, so let's go to the World Heavyweight Championship with Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. Now, we've talked a lot about Finn Balor and this journey that he's on and, you know, releasing that inner darkness. We talked about those, you know, connections to Bray and uh, potentially you know, Seth wants a certain version of Finn Balor. And could we see a darker version of the demon? And I think that is possible. 
And I think the outcome depends on that. If Finn Balor comes out with a darker version of the demon, I think Finn wins this. I, if he doesn't, I think Seth will retain. I'm picking Seth 100% in this match. I just don't see any way that he loses the belt right now. He He's too hot. He's so over. I think they're going to give him a, a good title run. Uh, it's too way too soon for him to be dropping that belt. And this match, going in uh, to this pay-per-view, I predict this match to be match of the night. I'm really looking forward to this one. I think this is going to be a fantastic match. Both those guys are so good in the ring. Yeah. And, yeah. So. Yeah. But I still think Seth is going to come out on top no matter what. Yeah, my my gut feeling, you know, having to pick one, I'm going to go with Seth Rollins retaining as well. And I do think this has the potential to be match of the night, but I think one might just edge it out a little bit. So let's talk about that one. We have the Civil War, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, and Solo Sokoa versus... We the ones down since day one, the Usos. And this storyline has been absolutely gold. I love it. It's been fantastic. You're invested. And so far, this is going the way Cody said it would, uh, which is interesting. You know, Cody, we could play that into it later. Like, I was right all along. Uh, So... I think this will be the match of the night. This is the one that people are going to be talking about. Uh, And I predict Roman is going to get himself pinned for the first time in three years. I definitely agree with that. Uh, And I could see this being match of the night, too, um, depending on what happens in it. Uh, I'm sure there's there's going to be some drama involved with this one, especially what we saw... Last night on SmackDown, I actually think that uh, uh, we could possibly see Solo turn on Roman tonight. We saw a rift start to form last night when Roman laughed at him, and he did not take too kindly to that. Mm-hmm. So I, th- I think that we're like just like Cody said, I think we're we're witnessing the total destruction of the bloodline, and I think it further splits tonight with uh, Solo leaving and possibly even Paul. And I think we're going to, if not tonight, very, very soon see Roman all by his lonesome. And I think this culminates with Roman losing the belt as a result of this total destruction of the bloodline. I could see Solo turning on Roman in a different way, as in allowing Roman to get pinned and not interfering with it. Yeah. Um, and could we see Paul, um, Paul Heyman go back to Brock Lesnar? Possibly. I think that that's really likely if, if the bloodline completely falls apart. He I mean, back he said, who was it? It was either Jay or Jimmy that said he, oh no, it was Cody. It says Paul, you know, he said Paul Heyman goes back to being an advocate. Mm-hmm. So and we've seen in the matches between Brock and Roman, we've seen some hints of that to where you can tell mm-hmm. Paul still likes Brock Lesnar mm-hmm. and stuff. So I, I think we could definitely see that at some point, but. Yeah, I, I think that uh, the one of the Usos get the pin on Roman tonight just to kind of... And I think that's just going to kind of amplify that feeling that Roman's dropping those belts soon. He's going to... He's just on a downward spiral now. I think it's going to be Jay that pins Roman. I can see that. So, yeah. Main event Jay. Main event Jay. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is a co-main event from what I've heard. Um with Cody and Dom and uh, Seth and Finn. Yeah. They're like triple triple main main event. event. Um, Which, you know, all of these matches have the potential to to be a main event. So, um, yeah, let's go to the women's money in the bank match. So we have Io Sky, Bailey, uh, Trish Stratus, Zoe Stark, um, Becky Lynch and Zelina. Who you got for this one? Uh, this one's tricky. I was back and forth. There's a couple people like I could see Becky winning it um, for sure. My my pick I'm going with is Io Sky. 
I uh, I I think that she'd be an interesting pick for Money in the Bank, and I just I re- I have this. I don't know. I I, I I this idea of her cashing in on Oscar. Oh, and amazing! What a, and what a match that could be. I think. What they, a feud! I think that if they have her win the Money in the Bank, that that's what it'll be. Just to, that because that would be such an amazing match. Um, Dark Horse, though, I, I I could actually see possibly Zelina Vega winning this. I think she's a dark horse in this match. She's underrated, severely yeah, underrated. Yeah, very underrated. She proves that at the the last pay per view in, uh, in Puerto Rico they had one when they had in Puerto Rico. Yeah, she's very good. Very good. But uh, I'm going with Io Sky as my pick though for this. This one's my wild card. So there's rumors floating around out there that uh, Charlotte Flair may be added to this Money in the Bank match, ladder match. Um, So I I don't really think that has much of um, an interference. I don't think it's going to impact the match very much. I'm going to go with a wild card and say Zoe Stark Mm. because... I think she's going to turn on Trish Trish Stratus. We are going to see it end with thank you, Trish, because I stepped over you to get this briefcase. So I think it will end with her saying thank you, Trish. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Trish, for, you know, letting me step over you, step on top of you, use you as a stepping stone to get this money in the bank. So that's my prediction for that. Um. Yeah, so that brings us to one of the most anticipated matches of Money in the Bank, the Gentleman's Money in the Bank match. We have, let's bring it up here, Ricochet. We have Damian Priest. We have Shinsuke Nakamura. We have Santos Escobar. We have L.A. Knight and Logan Paul. And Butch. And Butch. Sorry. Uh, Very, very interesting Money in the Bank matchup. I think this is going to be one hell of a match. And as much as we dislike Logan Paul, there's going to be some viral moments in there for sure. Um, But I believe that this Money in the Bank briefcase belongs to one person and one person only, and that is, yeah, L.A. Knight. Yeah, I uh, I definitely agree with that. Um, I this is this is a really interesting lineup. There, you know, typically we see in Money in the Bank ladder matches a lot of, you know, people that have been in ladder matches before. I can't remember a time when we've had a ladder match that most of the people have not been in a ladder match before. So this, this one's really, really interesting, but yeah, I, uh, I definitely have to go all in on LA night here. All in. He's so over with the crowd. Yeah. I think he deserves it more than anybody else in this match. Love to see him with that briefcase and, and the promos that he could cut as Mr. Money in the bank. I hope Oof. that if he wins, he has the case for a while and just talks so much trash to people about it and uh, uses that to, to just build himself up even more. Absolutely. I'm super excited about it. I think this is going to be an amazing pay-per-view. So let's do something that may be shock of the night. Is there anything that, you know, that would that makes you think that there's something huge that's going to happen at this money in the bank. I I think the shock of the night is going to be Roman being pinned. Mm-hmm. I I definitely think that most people are not expecting that as it's been 3 years since he has been. So I I would definitely say that I think a dark horse shock of the night. I do think that there is a small chance we could get some kind of a Bray tease, whether that be just some kind of a a little video or even, you know, something as simple as say they have a trailer for the new patch that's coming out for the game to hype it up and we hear Bray laugh at the end or something like I think there's a chance for that. Definitely don't think we see him or anything, but I think there could be a, a tiny little tease and the fans would just go nuts for it. I mean, they did re-release that blanket 
on the mm-hmm. WWE shop yesterday, which was very interesting timing. Um, and then yesterday, LA Knight did a uh, an interview with someone and was talking about, he was asked about Bray and where he thought he was, and he funnily enough said he th- thinks he's still off playing with his puppets. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and then he said that, uh, talking about money in the bank, he said, we may see him, we may not. So I mm-hmm. I think that there could be something to that, that maybe there, there's a little some, tease. A little, yeah, a little hint or tease, maybe even a, a QR code or something. Mm-hmm. All right, so here's another rumor that's been floating around and um, was posted by both Zero News and C Wrestling that there was someone in production that stated the crowd is going to go nuts when voices hit. Oh, Randy? Mm-hmm. Oh, I would love to see Randy come back. <laughs> He's been gone for a while, obviously had a major injury. That could be, could end up playing a factor in the Intercontinental title match. What if Randy comes out and helps Matt Riddle beat Gunther? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, what if you had Drew come out and then Randy? I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah, mm-hmm. you could have Randy come out, but th- oh, that if is... If Randy comes back tonight, I'll lose my mind. Obviously, the production people could be swerving. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, they're they're great at lying, and I mean that in a nice way. Uh, but this was heard by several different people. Mm. So um, we will see if that comes to fruition. Mm. But I think this is going to be an amazing pay-per-view. Uh, we will be joining Tazzy on the Party Channel for uh, Money in the Bank. And obviously, we will be back on Monday for Abby's Window. Uh, uh, we may have some brave stuff to talk about. We may have some breaking news to talk <laughs> about. Um, so enjoy Money in the Bank. If you are around, hit us up on the party channel uh, for the Money in the Bank watch along. Make sure you like, subscribe, send this off to everybody you know. Let's get those views up there. Let's get more subscribers. And we will see you on the next edition of Tea Time with Abby. Peace out. <laughs>